In this video, you will learn what the reincarnation trap is, how it works and how to escape. Reincarnation is a fact. It has been practically proved scientifically. The concept of reincarnation has been historically present in almost every single major human religion. It is clear that our consciousness and sometimes our memories return to this realm. There are so many reports of people recounting their past lives and there's no other logical explanation except that we return to this earth after death. The problem is, many of us don't understand the mechanism of reincarnation and the reincarnation trap or the soul trap. In this video, I will teach you how to stop this endless cycle. This video could be one of the most important videos that you ever watch. So I would like to ask you to show your gratitude by liking this video and subscribe to this channel to see brand new content every single week. When we die, we're told to go into the light. It's been ingrained into our collective consciousness as the escape route from earth and or purgatory into higher realms. But what if I told you that stepping into the light is another trap designed to keep our souls entangled in this earth's matrix? Yes, my friends, the rulers of this world have one last trick waiting for us. By surrendering to the enticing glow of the white light, we prevent our souls from returning to source or God. We become caught in the clutches of the earth's matrix prison, where our soul is recycled and forced back into the very system we are trying to escape from. Part of our godlike energy is stolen from us every single time we reincarnate. And eventually it gets to the point where the soul can no longer be used for another host body. This explains the existence of ghosts in this realm. They are souls that have returned so many times that they are now trapped here for good. But extraterrestrial entities still use them as energy sources to travel to other places. The manipulative beings responsible for this are often referred to as archons. Archon means ruler in Greek. They are the architects of this earthly prison. To learn more about this, watch my video titled Eve's Secret Daughter Burns Down the Ark, The Reality of the Rulers. These beings know that humanity is rapidly awakening and it is weakening their matrix prison control system. In response, they have tried to flood our collective consciousness with the false notion that going into the famous white light is our ticket to eternal freedom. Annoyingly, this misinformation tactic plays right into their hands and ensures their continued domination over our souls. That white light leads us straight back to hell, earth. After death, your consciousness becomes expansive. It travels at the speed of thought. And as you're going through this process and you're beginning to understand your new abilities as a sovereign soul, what happens? You are met by a light. And you are then greeted by an artificial white light being. This being may take on the form of a deceased relative or a spirit guide slash guardian angel or Jesus Christ, or Buddha, or Krishna. It will be someone who is of great significance to you. And this false being will then proceed to show you life reviews of your entire life. The false entity will pick specific areas that usually have to do with shame, fear, and guilt, where you probably didn't do your best, where you probably made a huge error in judgment. It will then give you the opportunity to resolve your karma and coerce you into coming back onto the earth. 
If that doesn't work, maybe because you're a Christian that doesn't believe in karma, they might try to scare you with hell or something along those lines. Or if you're an atheist or someone who doesn't believe in the afterlife at all, they might appear as a loved one and they'll say, let's go back to earth together and instead of us being mother and daughter, let's be sisters this time. Anything to try and lure you back in. And if you're ignorant and you're not aware of the manipulation at play, you'll agree. These false beings then trick you into thinking that there is a period of rest and you've attended a cosmic school where you and the false light beings have come up with a divine plan to help you resolve your karma this time around. If any of you have read the Dolores Cannon books, you'll be familiar with this. And then what will happen is that you'll be sucked back down into the earth, into the, another body to start all over again.